Seven Deadly Sins Lust Oh, lust! What is about these physical pleasures so litious or so lessious? They fed so many to women. They led so many to women. After all, wasn't it just lust in our eyes that led Eve to take a bite out of that, that, that apple? Or the Greeks to war with Troy? Yes, even the strongest, the bravest, the most brutal can be undone by lust. For centuries, kings, queens, popes, and presidents have all given in to their most primal instincts. Cogiglia had his orgies, cardinals had their combines, and even high born rulers like Catherine the Great's sexual appetites were so numerous, legend has it, she could ultimately only be satisfied by a horse. Yes, they say lust knows no mercy, but for one man, it also knows no age. Childhood was great. There was nothing really out of the ordinary. Great family. Over the years, I dated various looks here and there. Some men, they like blondes. Some men like brunettes. Some men like fat women. Some men like men. I knew, like early on, that the girls my age aren't really my thing. I went to sit. I wanted to say that I was in the sixth grade. There was a teacher who would always sit in front of the class. She would sit on the stool wearing skirts. She would cross her legs back and forth. She was hot. I knew instantly. She was probably 68, 69 years old. I remember the first thing I ever searched on the internet ever. I mean, I knew early on. Well, the questions I have been asked, okay, Carl, let's just say I put... A sports illustrated swimwear suit model in front of you next to an older woman. Which one are you going to go for? I look at a sports illustrated girl and I would think, okay, looking at her, she was pretty. My big grandma is gorgeous. Everyone is weird. You don't have a choice. You like what you like because your brain is high wired that way. Aging is part of life. It's natural. I like that look. I like wrinkles. I like the neckline. I like grey hair. Yeah, I like boobs. I do not even a hell of a lot of sausage. Sausage is fine. I mean, it's normal. It's going to happen to me. Dentures are like the unicorn of all sex. It's something that, that you look for. Like trying to find that four leaf, leaf clover. That's the one that's awesome. So here I am at high school, at high school. And I was trying to get a date with an older woman. They wasn't having it. They were like, you're so young. No one told me how to do it. I had to go out and trial and error. I trial and error. But I got the better of it. it, it, it. I mean, I realised, you know, how to talk to a woman. It doesn't hurt to know who but Tony Bennett is. I know the private place, place that's grocery store is a good place to go up, comment someone and say, compliment someone and say hi. You know what? Take a chance. Just take a chance for one date and see what happens. I met Carl on a dating site. I told him you should find someone your own age. He told he, I told him this a couple of times. I think it was the third time he said, we just have dinner with me. So I agreed to have dinner with him. We went for dinner. I was instantly liked him. I was very nervous because I knew I hadn't had sex for a while. So I undressed. I got more and more afraid because I thought, I don't think that's going to fit. So he made me feel very comfortable. Never once did he seem awkward to be with me. We would be out in the public and he would hold my hand and kiss me. That feels great that someone his age could like someone my age. Me and Emma... Our sex life is awesome. Sometimes she'll just grab me by the throat, which is really cool because she looks so innocent and so unassuming. I think if you stop having sex because of your age, you lost your spouse or whatever. I think you're really missing on out a part, a part of the life. No one wakes up one day and goes, well, you know, what guys? Today I'm 23 and time to ha- start having sex. It's time to start being boring and shit. No one ever does that. I live in a senior complex. The average woman there, all wants, all they want is their time alone. They're not interested in sex or men, period. I'm going, I'm into go, doing gangbangs in 2000. I got into get, doing gangbangs in 2008. I've done 14 since, and each one is better than the last one. Yeah, it's like a taste of a new ice cream. And you like it? You don't have to ever have it once. 
Surely he's not a lot like me in the sense of either one of us are looking for that relationship. For the time Carl and I have sex, we just enjoyed each other's bodies. He's a wonderful lover. He's a giver. She, we have it hard, rough sex. There's a hair pull. There's a body. There's scratching. Do you want specifics? Oh yeah, some people out there might not know what squirting is, but Carl can make me squirt over, can make me squirt over and over and over. I can't hold back. I don't go easy. I mean, older women can take it. They can have a sex just like anyone else can. I just don't think Carl is easy on me as far as sex because I'm older than he is. I'm 19 years, one years old. I would date a man of my own age, but there isn't any. Oh, the people who graduated with me, there's only two of us living. I think sex is a big part of my life. I must have been. I have six kids. When Carl first came over, he bought a dozen rubbers and six free bat boxes astroglide. I said, what do you think you're going to do with that astroglide? I made my own, I made my, I made my own lubrication right. And then he grabbed me and kissed me. It was earth shattering, believe me. I've not been kissed like that for a long time. Do you still have co- orgasm? Yes, I do. So shouldn't I? I do enjoy kissing, capturing that moment. I try to take pictures of the woman that I date. I like shoot videos as well. Those videos, they, they stay on my high drive. It's just for me to have older women, they just like other women. You know, all women enjoy attention and affection. They like being told they're pretty or attractive. They like to be feel desired. The only difference is they are older. I just, I was just sorry I didn't start it sooner. A lot of years of my life, I could have had a lot of more fun, enjoyed myself. Yeah, if you only knew, you would be happy too. When I think of my age, you get it to the point you don't give a hoot what people think. They hadn't kept you living. I was kept myself. Does that sound wrong? Does that sound selfish or anything? I don't know. I live so long you can't imagine. Anybody who's younger, I can't imagine what it's like. It's just like, probably maybe what people do when they do dope. I guess it's a big, your big shot. It's the best. You know, who are you to put limitations or, or to put asterisks next to your mum or your grandmum's happiness? Doesn't, it won't, can't be happy. You can't be happy. They are happy then. You are a bad person, period. Last night, it makes you do, us do things, many wicked things. Well, if the true answer to be controlling our most embodied passions is just giving in to them, I'll probably come in a dean minister because it was my mother's intention I would enter the ministry. I had tra- trended to a divinity school, starting in the fall of 1952, respected Jobbidis, in the wedding chapel game. I said I would represent brothel, brothels, Women are not the same creature once they are married and settled down as when they are on the prowl and were looking for, for a husband. Once they get to the little cottage at the white, little white picket fence, the two-year-old twins and puppies that take care of their gentle and sexual needs kind of pushed into a black burner. I think the man who discreetly goes to brothel can save a marriage. Brothels, they are saving marriages. George, hi, George. Baby, how are you? Carl, come sit down here. Hey, how are you? It's good to see you, my lad. Lady, good to see you too. This is Alexis. Hello, Alexis. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. Come in, Chrissy. I've mean, got puzzled, quizzed, because I'm a minister, and my position is this. Biblical, biblical history, Jesus' best friend, with Mary Malaga, Layla. She was a prostitute. So Jesus is confronted in the streets of Jerusalem by his group of men, read his stage lady, and said that to his cult and sin, nothing but simple, plain prostitute. He looked down at her and he said, let him who is not about sin cast the first stone. And every put the, one put their stones in the ground and walked off. And Jesus said to me, now Mary, go the way, that way and sin no more. What did he really mean by that? Do you mean don't continue your profession? Or do you mean don't take it to heart uh, that it's wrong? The Bible does not tell us that she quit being or that she stopped being a prostitute. <coughs> a type of women that work in my brothels or a unique allegram, 
When the client walks in the door, the hostess calls the lineup. She will say the ladies are going to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Barbie. Hi, I'm Hollywood. Hi, I'm Melina Chris. Hi, I'm Ava Grace. Hi, I'm Christine Chris. I am Carmen Sage. Uh, I am Melissa Fox. And then enter. And they see all of us lying up. They seem nervous because I just don't like picking someone out of the crowd. I feel guilty because I don't want to pick any one person. Make the others feel bad. Then she will ask him to select a girl of his choice. The woman can be very, very nerve-wracking as well. Just because you know you want to be pick, get picked. You know what? There are some kind of kids that come in. Yeah, very young kids. They're just like, oh, the babes are in. We generally get picked by the younger, the younger guys. They say they just gargle with the big guys. They do, they are just gargle with the big guys. Oh my gosh, I just want a cougar so bad. We're going to need these three, one thousand three hundred cash, okay? Men wasn't very sexually inclined. Pretty soon we do die off. I pretty much want what I do pretty much whatever ever they like to do. I like I like annual party or something like that. I don't like the real cookies. He wanted me to pretend like I was cooking lobster in the bar his bathroom is sooner and calling my friends on the phone and inviting them to the big dinner. Golden showers, Roman showers and brown showers. I get a lot of golden shower requests. A lot of guys who come in with a fessage. Maybe their wife doesn't feel comfortable doing, or maybe they don't even feel comfortable talking about. They may have a fear. I have to see this person every day. They're going to know I like butt plugs. plugs. Where is the other man supposed to do? Go for sexual relief if he weighs 375 pounds. Where is the other man supposed to go for sexual accommodation if he's lost both arms in the Vietnam War? If someone's willing to be open to him, with him, I'm willing to work with him. If they're shy, they don't know how to go down on their wife. Or just say they just need to get a, this tension, frustration out. They just need a release. The longer you're married, the less oral sex seems to be a paramount thing for a wife. Men need blowjobs, to, to, put it, to put it bluntly. I wouldn't tell you this if I was going to get me married. I'd probably, I would probably marry probably married and an ex-working girl because you're so smart in so many ways as far as taking care and pleasuring a man. Why have you made this your cause? I believe in it. It wouldn't really so many of the red negatives that exist everywhere else. Some people go I protect this industry. Men do not come into a brothel for a selective purpose of having sexual intercourse. Sexual intercourse, many of these men Coming to for company and touch. There's nothing more important than man and touch a female. It would be like going out with a restaurant or something like that. It would just be cuddling in a bed and sharing secrets and talking about feelings. A lot of these men really love their wives. They still have an emotional connection with them, but the physical connection just may not be with them anymore. Their wives had surgeries, older women, hysterectomies, cancer, chemotherapy, and just can't have sex. For the most part, the married man, they love their wives. They never think of doing anything like this outside of here. They would come here because it's safe and I'm not che- it's not cheating. Well, you know, I have a special one in the here. I've been seeing, I am, I have her known her for about going on four years, I guess. Look at you, how are you? Should we get three girls tonight? That'd be, that'd be fun. Go out or go shooting. I go to Virginia City. I'm retired, so I like to goof around. It's something to do. They're coming in for some t- type of fulfillment, and I'm here for that. Communication, companionship, a snuggle, or just a night of wild sex. Come on in. Why should I feel guilty? He's a very naughty boy. He went home. It's probably good, good boy for his wife. He was married and happily married. We have a two-year-old son. As a stay-at-home mum, I have married and I have children, four of them actually. I have children, nine of them actually. I mean, I wish more people could do be like us. Where can we t- tell each other the deepest, darkest secret now he's going to keep them safe? At the end of the day, I know that he loves me. He loves me. At the end of the day, I know 
that we're in a committed relationship. Keep your love for each other and always a selfish love. Keep this between your love and complete total devotion, a love and faith in all things and through all situations. We'll carefully and devotedly always try. Always think of other people, person first. And you see, day, regard, every day, regardless of your professional choice, minister, polit- politician, architect, the chances are you're going to have your own times where morals are tested and tried. It's very short-sighted, very short-sighted for anyone to condemn me so feels, does certain things that may not particularly traditional in society. I think, I mean, you might even say, as Jesus did, let him that is without sin cast the first stone. If Jesus were around today, he'd probably say, George, just keep it to up the good work. How do we live in a world with such endless possibilities? Just take a look around the folks over exotic erotics. They're currently putting a different spin, the beast. With two backs. I feel that horses are the most beautiful animals. I the way they move, the way their muscles work. I'm not sure exactly where the fascination of horses came from. I don't know. I can relate to them. I'm the owner of exotic erotics. We're the only company that makes adult sex toys a cast from live animal genitalia. Live casting, the process of making a copy of a living object, or a speciality in making life casts of animal or genitalia to be turned into adult toys. I live in a very rural area. Horses play a really big role. Honestly, I have no idea what most people would do if they knew what I did for a living. Well, before, first before we can start casting, we had to make sure all our materials are set up. They were ready to go on a moment's notice, because the whole casting process takes less than ten minutes. We have we have to have a stallion. Someone brings a mare that is a heat and she teases stallion to arousal. Once he gets aroused, we start the process of mixing up the materials and then then we would pull the materials into the casting tube. And then we would slide the tube over his erection and hold it there for five minutes till it's set. We took back the teaser mare off. It is his interaction, and we have our first negative cast. We can make a mould out of that. And once that is done, we can pour our toys into that mould. We have custom toy colours. We pretty much colour pour our toys to almost any colour that you can think of. Currently, we have life casts of humans, dogs, and big horses. We have a cast of great Pennines, a St. Bernard, and an Australian Shepherd. I'd love to cast some smaller breeds to appeal to more female customers. They're a huge part of this industry. We sculpt and models. They're based on off animal genitalia. We cannot life cast because it's not a possibility of an animal, elephant trunk, a giraffe tongue, rhino, do, do rhinos, hippopotamus, dinosaur, or orca whales. Well, you can probably could cast an orca whale. You know, getting you know, getting the verbality. No matter what's out there, there's someone who has a sexual distraction to it. We are 3D of all these models. Our price range is anywhere between 35 and $300. Last year we sold over uh, 500 units. This year we sold over 2,000. Our largest model is Jackson. We're 22 inches in length from 3 to 2.5 inches in girth. Oh, we have the nurse negative reviews. But mostly, we find that the customers are just all their toy. They're too large for them. It just, they count as a negative because they can, can't use it because it's too large. It takes years usually to train our body to be able to know, take such large objects. You're actually modifying your body in a way. You signal a colon as a curve in your intestines. And people get the, well, it's really extreme when it's stuff. We actually train it out. Make it so that they're able to acquire larger subject objects into them. And when they had the people who actually really get tuned, turned on to the fact that they can cast off actual animal houses, a lot of people can.
can get into bestiality. They are physically attracted to animals. People are like large objects, certain physical features, just connecting the animal that size. Being with them and interacting with them, I mean, you can be attracted to an animal. Our toys are not safer for anyone involved. It's a great outlet in their, in their custom instead of partaking in bestiality. A recording of the has been quite a few people, even though I don't quite feel like one. I'm just representing what a mother has already made. Lust, a sin, of truly so many faces. Really, why should we suppress such indelible urges that are elemental? I mean, after all, who is ultimately the most satisfied in this world? The one who can bite the apple, or the one who can just stare at it?